In this video, I show you how to stream on YouTube and TikTok at the same time. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. We really do appreciate it. And make sure you watch this video right until the end and let's get into this. Here we are on my desktop and the first thing you need to do is go and open up the software which you usually go and stream on YouTube with. So in this case, I usually stream on YouTube using OBS. As you can see, currently I'm recording this video, but usually I stream on YouTube using OBS and I click start stream. And then because we want to go and stream on TikTok at the same time, I'm actually using a different software from OBS and in fact, it's a dedicated software for TikTok, which TikTok have developed. So I'm gonna go and show you how you can go and get it. So all you need to do is go and open up a new browser. Um, and I'm just using Google Chrome and then come to a search engine. And then all you want to do is go and search a thing called TikTok Live Studio. Go and search for it just like so. And then make sure you go to the official website, which is tiktok.com, which is welcome to Live Studio. And then once you're on the website, all you need to do is click free download for Windows, just like so. And it's gonna go and drop the download. As you can see, it's about 300 megabytes. Um, so all you need to do is go and wait for it. But it is important to note that every browser is slightly different and downloads won't always appear in the bottom left as they do in Google Chrome, but you can always go and find your downloads in your downloads folder. So the installer has now downloaded, so go and find it, whether that be your downloads folder or in your browser. I'm just gonna go and drag it onto my desktop just like so to make things a bit easier, and we can come and close off of our browser. Then all you want to do is go and double tap on it just like so, and you're probably gonna go and get a Windows Kudu pop-up, which unfortunately I can't go and record, and all you need to do is go and press install, and then you're gonna have this install bar just like this. And then TikTok Live Studio is gonna go and start opening and it's gonna have this little bar like this. And all you need to do is wait for it to go and open up. And once it's launched, you need to go and log into your TikTok account. So what I recommend doing is going under for beginners and going to click at set up now. So it's now testing your microphone. So you can go and select which mic you'd like. Personally, I'm just using my default device then go and click next. You can go and select your camera. Personally, for now, I'm just gonna use my OBS virtual camera and then go and click next. Now we can go and choose our streaming settings. As you can see, it's actually measuring um, our internet connect, which is really good because then it's gonna go and optimize the settings so we can go and stream as smooth as possible um, while having a good internet connection. And just like that, TikTok have gone and applied the settings that are gonna work best with our internet speed. So then you can go and press okay if you're happy with them. And here we are. So now we can go and edit these as well. Personally, I'm gonna leave them as they are, as TikTok for literally optimized for it. And here we are, as you can see, we can now go and add some scenes. So we can go and have a full screen desktop mode with our camera. So we'll have our webcam in the bottom right with our face, um, or you can just have a full screen desktop as well. So I'm gonna use this little webcam one here and then go and click finish. Here we are on the TikTok Live Studio and I'm gonna go and quickly explain how you can go and use it. So let's go and start at the top. As you can see, you can go and see all the statistics, your CP, your memory, your upload speed, and your frame drops. Then on the left-hand side, you've actually got your scenes. So essentially you can have multiple different scenes depending on what you want to stream. For example, I've got one here, which is full screen desktop and camera, which is basically my webcam and then my background computer, as you can see just here. But you can also just go and have, say, another scene, which is just um, your background. Um, so you can uh, customize these and you can add different sources to the scenes. So basically you've got a hierarchy, you've got scenes, and then you've got sources and scenes and different sources make up a scene. So you could have things like a webcam, text, um, chat, and all that. Um, and to go make a new scene, all you need to do is press add scene, just like so. And then you can go and choose what you want the back to be. So it could be a, a camera, it could be a display capture. And then you can go and add things on top of that. So I'm just gonna add this screen here. Um, and then I can go and add another source, just like so, which could be um, text, I think you can go for. And then you can type in what you like, for example, example, just like that. You can go and change the font style, the font size, and loads of other things, then press add source. And as you can see, it's now loading. And then what we can do is go and add this to it. And then you can go and move it around to whatever you'd like. So I could go and have it in the top left. But then if I wanted to go and have another scene, which is just my background display, then all I need to do is press new scene. And as you can see, it then switches to it. And there we go. And then right in the bottom left, you've got a tool section where you can go and mark and highlight clips as well. And then in this metal section here, we've gone and got this, which is an audio settings. So you can go and adjust the levels. So you can go and open up the settings and make any further changes. For example, go and lower your FPS and go and lower the video quality. But we did go and do that test at the start, but they may, that may not be suitable for you. Um, but you can go and make further changes here if you'd like to. Then we've gone and got the record button. So you can also use um, TikTok Live Studio to go and record streams as well, which is useful. And then on the right-hand side, we've got the mobile preview and also the, the start button. So when you press start, you're gonna go live. And then once you're ready to go and stream on TikTok and YouTube at the same time, all you need to do is go and press on start streaming on the software you use for YouTube streaming, and then go and press start in TikTok studio, and then you're gonna be both be streaming. And then you can go and engage with both audiences as well by viewing the chat on TikTok Live Studio and on YouTube as well. And there we go, it's that easy.